So hello and welcome to this, the latest BSH video. And this one is a bike with a difference. This is a Super Soco TC Max, and it's an electric bike. Um, now, electric bikes are, are a real sort of Marmite thing. People absolutely love them or hate them. Um, but they are basically the future. Uh, the government have said that they're going to do away with all brand new petrol vehicles in 20, by 2030. So if you have a new bike after 2030, you're going to be riding an electric one. At the moment, they're still a bit pricey, but actually we'll come, come to that in a minute. But this is a, a Super Soco TC Max, as I said, and it's basically a 125. It's a learned legal one. Um, it does about 60 miles an hour tops. 55 is much happier. It's got about a 60 mile tank range. Uh, it's really ide ideal as a commuter or, you know, for a first bike for a kid. And it's actually quite good fun. I've quite enjoyed it. I've had it for 10 days or so. And I haven't done a huge amount of mileage on it because I live in the middle of nowhere and everywhere is a long way from where I live. Um, but I've sort of smoked it about a bit and a couple of mates have had a go on it and it's quite good fun. Um, it's quite surreal. You go along at sort of 55 miles an hour with the only noise you can hear is the wind through your helmet and the tyre pressures. Or tyre pressure, you know, tyre noise. Which is, it is quite strange. It's like having a really fast push bike. It's quite cool. Um, it's one of those things, isn't it? You're either going to like electric bikes or you're not and, and as I say unfortunately because the way the world is going the way we've bollocksed it basically we're gonna have to have electric bikes so we thought we'd have a quick look at one of these ones as I say this is a learner legal one it's not a, a mega quick one but it is quite good fun like I say I've quite enjoyed my few days with it um, you wouldn't believe given that where I am in the middle of nowhere in this down this dirt track whoops I was voice falling over I've actually had to stop and start this video three times from the number of trucks that have gone past, which is quite surreal. But as you can say, it's it's you know nice enough. Okay, you'd lose that back mud guard if it was actually yours, because that is ugly. I mean, man, that is ugly. Um, but if you just relocate the back light cluster and the indicators up around the back wheel, up around the uh, back of the seat, it would be cool enough. Um, say so it does about 55 miles an hour. It takes about three hours to charge it. So if you were clever. I mean, you get economy, you get cheaper electric at night anyway, so you put it on charge. But if you're using it for work or college or something like that, then all you do is you take when you get to college, just take the battery off because it comes off really easily. Um, just take it in, charge it. So if you were really clever, I would imagine it's not going to do a great deal of wear on the tyres and the belt and brakes and stuff like that because it doesn't weigh anything. Um, you could probably have pretty much zero running costs for at least a year, if not a bit longer. Um, which, yes, okay, so these things are a little bit pricey still, at least four, three, I think, which is about the same as a Japanese 125, a decent Japanese 125. But on the other hand, Japanese 125 is gonna cost you, you know, it's, you're gonna have to put fuel in it every two or three days. Whereas this, you don't have to put fuel in it ever. So yes, your outlay is higher, but your running costs are absolutely negligible. Um, <laughs> And it's just, you know, there's so many people who are so negative about them, but it's the way that it's going to go. So we have to learn to like them or we don't. I mean, thankfully, most of us lot who are uh, reading BSH are so old that uh, in 10 years time, most of us not be riding anyway. So it's not really going to affect us. But our kids and our grandkids, they're the ones who are going to have to ride electric bikes. And if they grow up with them, they're not going to know any different, are they? Yeah, you don't get that really cool engine noise of a, you know, a big V-twin or a, a Jack 4. But if they grow up like this, they're never going to know. What I will just show you, because it does make me smile, is the, uh, is the starting procedure. Because it just makes me laugh. Right, so here's your key. You've got your key. I'm just lucky you can see that. I'm looking at a, a screen. I can't really see it. So you press... The unlock button which is the right hand one and if you listen to the noises and then you press the power button which is this one on the tank down here just press it and I love the way it makes a noise like your phone when it fires up and there's your, your dial with it shows you battery power and it's actually got three modes as you can see it's in mode three at the moment there's a lever there somewhere it's trouble not looking at a screen that you can actually see very well. Um, one is economy, two is and three it says excitement mode, which means it goes as fast as it possibly can. But it which isn't fast, but it's quite cool. Um, so your top whack is realistically about 55 rather than the 60 that they quote, but it's cool. 
and it's just simple itself. I mean, that's your that's your back brake there, that's your front brake there, um, that's your throttle, and that's it. You basically just touch it and it moves. There is a little bit of lag, which is good, because when I rode an electric bike years ago, it didn't have any lag and took off like a bloody idiot, which was a really powerful thing. It was really quick, but it was just not the nicest thing in the world to ride. Whereas this is just really simple. Anybody can get on it and just potter about. It's quite good fun. So turn it off and it makes more noises. And there we go. That's the Super Soco, so Soco, Soco, I don't know how you pronounce it. Super Soco TC Max. Um, we'll be doing a couple more electric bikes in the future. So, but I just thought we'll show you this one first of all, because it is quite a groovy little thing.